We have with us Gideon Rackman of the Financial Times, who is their chief foreign affairs correspondent. And um, I want to ask him, many of the best thinkers on foreign policy um, rarely write about, e about economics. We don't seem to understand it very well or put it properly, perhaps, except maybe Marx, in the context of our political and um, analysis. So as we look ahead um, for the next 10 years or so, I want to ask Gideon just to talk a bit about the role of economics. Will it become more important, less? I mean, will we have to actually learn a whole new discipline and put it in the proper context of what we understand to be power politics? Gideon. Well, I wouldn't go as far as trying to force you to learn a whole new discipline, but um, I do think that obviously the, the economic crisis will change the geopolitics of the world. I, I think that uh, one of the leaders who was at the G20, he came uh, to see us at the FT and put it rather well. He said that, you know, we started with a financial crisis. We're moving on to an economic crisis. We're in that now. We're then going to have an unemployment crisis. Then we'll have a social crisis. And then we'll have a political crisis. And that you can't separate these things. And he said he'd put these to his fellow leaders. And as he went down the the stages of progression, they'd all started nodding, and by the end, they, they, were, they, they didn't like it, and they were shaking their heads. But I think it's, it's clearly, you know, a, a cursory knowledge of history tells you that economic turmoil tends to lead to political change and to political trouble. I think maybe one way of, of, of looking at it is to, is to ask, well, what sort of political trouble are we heading for? I think things are going to get bumpier, and how bad will it be? And if you want to look at the kind of political changes that the economics might produce, one way of looking at it is to, is to think of uh, changes within states and then changes in relationship between states. Uh, clearly, even in the richest and most uh, stable democracies, the, the, the recession is going to change the tone of politics, will lead to radicalization. Um, but I think that countries like the United States, the United Kingdom, France are, are probably best placed to, to weather this simply because they're richer societies with more settled political systems. I think, uh, which is not to say we're going to be immune from political change, but I wouldn't look at us first. Um, I think that the more serious effects, are pro you're probably going to see an increase in the number of countries that are loosely called failed states. Uh, I think for the last 30 years of globalization, if you look at the... Um, the overall picture, there's been a steady increase in the number of countries that have become democratic. There's been a steady increase, uh, or rather steady diminution in war, although Monsieur Henri Levy referred to some of the horrible conflicts we've had in the last 30 years. If you look at the overall statistics, actually the number of people killed in battle in the last 30 years has been going down very steadily, according to those who, who monitor these statistics. Now, that was associated with a long period of prosperity. If that goes into reverse, then I think you're going to have more countries which are difficult to control, whose political systems collapse, and then that leads to violence, refugees, etc., and that poses political problems for the, for the West. And final point, as I say, the first round of effects was within states. The second round of effects is relationships between states. Uh, one, one source of irritation would be things like failed states. The other would be, well, Russia and China, you know, major powers have, to some extent, stabilized their system in the last uh, 10, 20 years because they've been able to, without democratic legitimacy, get a sort of legitimacy through economic growth. Now, if that goes, what other form of legitimacy do they look for? And there must be a worry about a resurgence of nationalism.